what I'm very scared about is me not being able to land properly on that little small pad that we have there. I really hope we, um, yeah, I can't wait for next episode where we'll fix that, because it's scary landing on, uh, on that little small hut. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how well I'm going to do this. Okay, no, 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 no. No, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> okay, hold it straight. Don't hit the tree. Okay, you know what? Yeah. No. I'm landing it on the ground. I'm landing it on the ground right now. I'm not having that. And out. <laughs> I need a bigger pad to land on. I'm I'm not I'm not risking that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start. Uh, let's start decorating and solving a couple of issues. First off, being light issues. Let us. Uh, let's take some scrap. Let's take from the crate here first of all, if we can, just to get that out of the way as well. Let's check the storage over here. Do we have any metal in here? Got some duct tape and some cloth. I'll take that too. Yeah, just kind of kind of want to start clearing out and all some and some of all this mess. All right. So. Let's take a look. Uh, torch, I believe. Uh, huh. Huh, I remember correctly. Maple torch, pine torch, takes two metal scrap and some sticks. Let's get that going. I actually need some more sticks, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get up to the top, get some sticks. Torch. Unfortunately, it shows the blow torch for the first, but we got that. And we can now place this, and it's gonna act like the fire, but it's actually gonna emit light. So I want a few of these around here, which means I'm actually gonna need a lot more sticks. Unfortunately, this will not be enough, so I do seem to have to go and chop down a tree for this, and also get some more scrap in my inventory. If I could spell, that would be great. Right here. Grab another one. I'm gonna put one here. Now we can actually make electrical lamps, which we will do the episode where I cover power. But I want a few torches in here and a few up here. So I'm gonna go and uh, snap a tree and then we'll be back. Now I actually don't want to use too much materials on making torches because we do want the metal to make a bunch of other stuff. And I think maybe in the power video that I'm gonna make that um, for the video about power I'm going to cover actually getting metal, metal in a way better way because <laughs> uh, there is a way and it's a lot better than having to go salvage for it but I think something like this is gonna be nice so we can see what we're doing and maybe can we put one like I think if we put one here yeah it will give some light up here too so that's nice and all right so what else am I thinking of? I'm thinking like couches, sofa, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's look in here. There's going to be a bunch of... Of course, we need a bedroll. Our bedroll is actually very important. I can't believe I haven't thought of this before. Where have I put my bedroll? I know I have it somewhere. Where is it? The bedroll is what allows us to respawn at a certain place. Why have I got... Oh, I have it on me. <laughs> bedroll. We could make a bed, actually. We could make a bed. Uh, Alright, it is apparently not named a bed, but we could use a bed, make a bed, we're using six metal scrap, um, and it would act the same way, though I am going to go with the sleeping bag or the bedroll for now. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna place it, we could place it right here, but I'm gonna place it right here by the window, just like so. Nice. And then we just, then it's placed, and we just gotta press F to claim it, and it's claimed. And if we die, we'll, we can choose to respawn right here. So that is very nice. Now, what I wanna find is uh, a couch, which only takes cloth. It actually takes quite a lot, so I'm happy that I got a bunch. Now, we can actually dye this. Do I have a flare? I should have grabbed a flare. I was dumb and I didn't, but if you have a flare, you could actually use that flare to color like stuff, even the bedroll, I think. Man, that's annoying. Well, now you know, you can actually use 
Um, you could actually use a flare to color furniture and stuff like that, like the couch. You can choose to color that. Uh, let's see how we got to place this. I think a table here, maybe. And maybe a couch over here. And I do believe we can even make a television. Yeah, uh, that, uh, no. No, 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 no. Let's put that right here. That'll, that'll be fine, right? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And we can be here and... Ooh, now this works. Okay, so if you hold C, it's C for me. I don't... I think that is the default key. Um... You can choose to like wave, you can rest. Rest is basically sitting. So if I go into my, this one, eh, where am I? <laughs> right here, you can see that I am actually, eh, eh, you can see that I'm actually sitting in the couch. I could also choose to uh, get up by jumping, wave, I can do face palm. If someone does something stupid, I can salute, I can do a bunch of those, and I can, of course, change my face if I wanted to. So that's cool. I'm thinking a little table. What kind of table can we make? Table... Oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, we can make a t pine circular table. We can make a pine rectangular table. Um, we can make a square table. I'm thinking around... I'm pretty sure the circular table is actually pretty big. But let's see. Let's get a... Hmm, let me see, can we get a television, uh, TV? Hmm, I'm obviously not gonna go all out on this, but you, what? You can actually maybe make it made with a flag? Huh. Well, that's just a flag. Okay, so sorry, I was thinking about the claim flag in the last episode that I forgot to mention. I showed it in the end, uh, in the video, because I forgot to add it in. Sorry. I added it in. I forgot to mention it in the original recording, so during editing, I added it in. Um, but then I saw this bush flag, maple flag, what? But that's actually not the claim flag. It doesn't have that functionality. We could make stuff like a fridge. Uh, the library actually does have a usage, so I actually do want to make that. I don't know if I have enough rope for that, though, so let me check. Also, I broke my leg jumping from up here all the way down here, so that's that's fun. I don't have a splint, so I'm just gonna leave that to heal on its own. So that's another one. Now I just need one more. Yes, I have another one. Yes, sweet. We're gonna make a library. We're gonna make a library just because I want to show you what it does. Let me make a plank. We and make three. We need nine in total. Library. There it is. We're gonna make a pine library. And this basically is actually kind of like a storage for your um, experience. So if I, I, this is actually a pretty good place for a library, isn't it? Surprised I can walk with a broken leg. Let's see, uh, add it right here-ish. That'll work for now. We could use it and it has the capacity here and I will assume that depending on the wood type, so if we used birch, the capacity would be lower. I'm not sure about that. That is just me making a theory, but I don't know. We'll have to test that. Uh, we have 41 available. We can deposit and tax. Okay, well, we can transfer uh, basically um, experience points to this because just in case we die and we want to keep all of it in one place instead of having it all on us. So that is very cool. I'm thinking making a table, some sort of table. And I'm thinking a small square table right here. So if we get some more planks and do this and go to table yet again and get a small pine square table. Okay, that, oh, okay. Do you see this icon right here? That means a blood moon. That is a blood moon, actually. Uh, we shouldn't be, we are not in danger. All it does, well, the foon is full. And if you're at a place where there are zombies, zombies basically get creepy red eyes and uh, they become stronger. We might head over to Berlin and take a look at that. But anyways, let's put a small square table right here. It is not a coffee, I don't think we have a coffee table. Do we have a coffee table? I don't think so. I don't think we have a table. Uh, let's see here. That's all the same. No, we do not have a coffee table. So this will have to do as a coffee table. 
Uh, let's put it right in. Kind of want it. Yeah. You know what? That's fine. There we go. That's not too bad. I, I don't think we can make a flower pot, actually. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could make a flower pot, but no. Now, I'm showing you some of this stuff, but there... There might be more that I'm not even aware of that might that maybe isn't even showing up here. That could that could be a thing. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this I'm just covering some of the basics here, and you can see about it. It's gonna be a little bit dark over here, but I think I think we'll be fine. How's the lighting doing over here? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yep, you can see the moon over there. It is full, and uh, to be honest, it's pretty creepy. <laughs> when that happens but i'm thinking maybe a chair over here can we get a chair i don't see one right now but that is fine i do want to focus on something else that i just discovered uh pine play pine plaque uh rifle racks and signs signs you can basically just write on and we're going to actually make a bunch of those so let me just chop down another tree i am actually starting to get a little bit low on the iron so yeah it's not the metal situation right now is not great, uh, but we'll get, we'll we'll get through it. Rifle rack. Uh, if I wanted to make a, let's see, plaque. You could also get like a trophy case. Yes, let's make a trophy case. Um, we can also get. Of course, we want a door. Actually, I I want a door. That's another thing I want to do. Uh, I need so many things. But anyways, we're gonna make a. We're gonna put a rifle rack. Let's put a rifle rack. Off. It's really dark over here. I need another torch here. I'm gonna put, put a rifle rack right here And I'm actually gonna put in The gun that I have laying in the helicopter. I'm sorry that this episode is getting a little bit long But I do want to cover as much of this as possible and give a good idea and well just to give a good idea of what you can and Let's get up here go in here and Boop, then there it is. We can also turn it in different directions as you can see there in the background. So if I wanted to turn it upside down, I could do so. Um, we can even do that, which is interesting. But yeah, then, then we have a rifle rack right there. I could also make a plaque, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, let's, uh, let's, get, a, let's get a door actually. Uh, do we, can I make more planks? No, I cannot. Let me get some more planks then. Yeah. All right, let's make a door. Let us also make a sign. Uh, need more planks? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a lot of planks to be made. Uh, let's get them all crafted. Let us get a sign. And let us get... I wanted to make one of these as well. That takes even more. Well, another missing... Another missing uh, bar, but this is basically like the rifle rack. Um, I want to hold on on the iron right now because that is the thing I think I want to make. But anyways, the door, the arrow is basically where the door will swing out. So uh, I want it in this way. And then it's just like that. Key a thing to keep in mind is that metal doors is owned by your clan and other factions will not be able to open them. On multiplayer and actually the same with these lockers um, I failed to say it when I made them but only you and your clan can actually access these other factions cannot um, I'm having some serious issues here this is not good but yeah now we have a door here right now this is just single player so I'm not going to worry about that too much so that is fine we can of course well we gotta place this down too right uh, I think I'm actually going to take you down and then put you, oh, I'm going to put it up here and then I'm going to put this bad boy here just as a trophy case and we're going to put it right there by the door right there. That looks good. And I wanted to make something and we can actually make it. So that is great. I wanted to make a weak, uh, weak glass and I think I want to make two. Just so we can get a clock too. I don't know if the clock will actually work. So this is going to be a great experiment. Sheet. I need one. So now I have two. I need one more. And I hope I have more metal. Do I have more metal? Please say I have more metal. Please. Please. More metal. Hey. I need more metal. <laughs> oh well. I guess I'll have to do with what we got. Uh, window. 
Okay, let's get some glass, but let's make it. And this we can actually place for the windows, just like this. It just snaps into place, just like so. And we're gonna do that, like so. So now stuff can't break in. You can actually get bulletproof glass. Um, if I take it, I'm pretty sure we could go in bullet. And then we could get make bulletproof glass if we had two. And we could also make one-way glass, actually. One-way glass, like this. So that is something else we could make and you might want to use for a base. And let me see if there's something I can scrap, to be honest with you. It is at moment, moments like these where you wish you had gathered every single item that you have found to be able to use it later. We're gonna make a clock and I think that and the sign will be the final thing that we do in this episode. I think the sign, the clock should be down here. Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> that does not look right at all. Um, how does it look if we just place it there? Oh dear, no. It's actually missing power. So that is a power, a thing run with power. Okay. That's weird. This is looking strange. We can put it on the ceiling. Yeah, okay. That That's not quite what we wanted to do. <laughs> um, I don't know where to put this, actually. Well, I can kind of get it to balance just a bit on this thing. So how about we put it right there? Does miss power? It's missing power. So I assume once it has power, it will actually show the time. Um, so I mean, that's it's a very weird place for a watch. I know, but you saw how it looked on other places. I think to wrap this up, I'm going to put aside. I'm going to uh, blocked. What are you talking about? Oh, wait, I need a, it's not a sign I need, is it? Nope, it's a placard. That's what, that's what I wanted to make. It is basically a sign, but you can actually put it on stuff. So I'm going to put one right here and you could basically type on this. So I could do binaries base and right and it puts it on. What you can also do is actually, I'm pretty sure this is a thing you can use uh some yeah then you can see it made the top text bold um you can use some html coding in here which is actually pretty cool so now it made all the text uh black and i could actually color the text as well let me see if i know how to do that all right so you should be able to do it with this and then put in the color code and i want to try i think it was zero zero ff ff and then you just gotta put a finishing color tag right there. Uh, no. All right, so basically I removed the BR tag and now it can. So I will assume that maybe the BR tag needs to be outside. Oh, wait, that's wrong. And you can look up basic HTML uh, tags and codes and stuff like that. And also there are people that have made, um, what's it called? guides on the sign um, sign like the stuff that you can do with the sign but I just know it based from coding with uh, HTML and apparently I suck at this right here with the signs but you get the idea you can color it and we can do something like that binary space and we could actually put the the one down here we can make it white so if I just copy this put it over here <laughs> and copy this one, copy, paste, and then change this to white, like so. And yeah, that's that. That's pretty cool. So we can do color science and stuff like that. Of course, that also works uh, for this right here, if I wanted to. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything like that, but I'm just gonna type welcome, maybe a BR just because I can. Okay then. Maybe it doesn't work on normal size. Also, I am critically in need of food and water. Uh, I might need to go for a trip down to Berlin again in the morning to get some stuff because this is bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have some milk somewhere. Hold on. Uh, Critical, critical, critical moment. Hopefully I have some more food in here. 
Uh, there we go. That, that should hold off. Alright, so it's just me doing something wrong. I just copied the code from up here, pasted it into here, and it works. So that's just a demonstration for what you could do. And so I'm just gonna do something like this. Welcome. And down here, just gonna remove that one. Right, and there you go. So yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much that. Boom, sends it. And uh, yeah, you can do, of course, a lot more than just what I have shown you here. Of course, there's also electricity, which we will be covering um, in another video. Power, show you how to make power. I can't really make much more right now because I'm out of metal. There's more, of course, you can do with like wood and stuff like that. Um, going into here, there's also like a cooler. You can make a book. You can make a beach chair if you so wanted to. That would fit maybe up there at the balcony. Um, you can make a metal counter, you can make an entire kitchen. I think there's a sink in here as well. There's a fridge and you can make notes and stuff like that. So there's plenty of possibilities for you to explore and decorate your home. You can even make an umbrella to stick to the ground and stuff like that. So yeah, I might I might, I might put some more in this house and then show you um, some of the stuff that I have put in here down the road when I do. But this is just to give you a quick example. Now, unfortunately, the the full moon will end, so we will have to cover that in another video, but that's fine. This video is already 40 minutes long, way longer than I had hoped for. So, yeah, I'm going to call it right here. I'm going to call it right here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, sorry for the long episode length. I apologize, but there was a lot of stuff to do and cover. Leave any questions and feedback and stuff like that down in the comments below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. And now I have a hunger situation and thirst situation to cover. So yeah, maybe maybe farming is up as soon as possible because <laughs> I need more food. <laughs> but anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Okay, to Berlin, I go. Ja,